Am I the asshole? A woman demanded info on my condition so I asked her extremely personal questions. I was at a state fair yesterday and this woman near me came over and demanded info about my medical condition. Long story short, I'm paralyzed from roughly the bra band down. I use a power wheelchair and have a service dog. I usually don't mind educating people about paralysis, access issues and chatting about my dog but this woman. My dudes. She was rude, abrasive and demanding. She acted like she was entitled to my personal medical history. She didn't even ask politely, just demanded to know how it happened, what the results were, if I tried X, Y, Z treatments, you name it. She even wanted to know about my sex life just. Seriously? Who asks this stuff of a literal stranger unfortunate enough to be eating delicious fair food at the table area? I just stared at her in shock as my delicious deep fried barbecue got cold. So I smiled as politely as I could manage and this is where I may have been the asshole. I started to ask her about her last gyne visit. Were the stirrups too high, did she have to do that awkward shimmy scoot down the table, if the speculum was cold, if the pap smear hurt, the usual. If she felt entitled to my answers, I should be entitled to her answers, right? Well, she threw an absolute fucking fit. Started screaming and yelling that I was gross and a pervert and on and on and on. Her group tried to calm her down and one of them told me I should have just been polite and answered her questions. As far as I could tell this woman wasn't impaired in any way. She didn't have a carer or minder, she was with a group of friends and had been carrying in normally with them until she saw me. I got to the table, asked if the space was free and set up at the end of the table because my chair fits neatly on the end of one piece picnic benches. I told the group that if she wanted my personal and private medical information then she should trade info for info. Two of the people called me an asshole when they left, trying to calm down their nearly hysterical friend as they left. She was still screaming and shouting how I was a perv cruel mean. People were staring at me and I hated it. At the time I felt good for finally finding a shiny, new but still broken spine and standing up for myself. So to speak. I was talking to friends last night and they said I was an asshole, I could have politely told her I wasn't going to tell her. I tried that when she came over and demanded answers, not even asked for them. So Reddit, I'm asking here. Am I the asshole for not divulging my medical info and asking her about hers? Not the asshole. I greatly admire your shiny conversational spine. Lots of folks with wheelchairs, service dogs, mobility aids of other types, and carers come through my workplace. Yet somehow we all manage to resist asking ridiculously invasive questions. Yeah, the toddlers visiting might, but getting shut down and having proper behavior explained to them by their parents is part of their social learning curve. Lamau not the asshole, not even close, and I truly don't understand how your friends could have thought you were. Your response was perfectly reasonable and also demonstrated the absurdity of her initial behavior. Sure, it's nice to be polite. But politeness isn't owed to someone who disregards it themselves. That lady was rude and obnoxious and deserved to have her own shit thrown back in her face. Even funnier that she threw a fit for it, I guess she's not used to people not tolerating her awful personality. Not the asshole. She was still screaming and shouting how I was a perv cruel mean. People were staring at me and I hated it. Chances are people were staring because a basket case was screaming at someone in a freaking wheelchair. Not the asshole. I hope you never have to deal with another person like that again. But if you do, I'd very loudly repeat her questions. I am sorry, but did you just ask me about my sex life? Who do you think you are asking such a personal question? Not the asshole. You are my hero I love your response. In all seriousness, you owe no one any information about your life. If someone wants to know about you or your life, they can ask respectfully. If they can't, well, they deserve what they get. And, let's face it, assholes call others assholes when they care called out on their own behavior.
It's the pot calling the kettle black. Not the asshole. I would have asked her friend. Are you her caregiver? Please explain to her that her questions are so invasive. Not the asshole I applaud your kindness in taking the time out of your day to provide this interloper a teachable moment. True charity. And absolutely not sarcastic. Not the asshole that was an awesome response, you rock that shiny spine. I hate how some people think as being disabled means we must be passive and grateful for them even taking the time to take an interest in us, oddly usually the same type of people who complain about a disabled chronically ill person in their friends group always talking about their condition. Not the asshole. Honestly, I think what you did was completely fair and her reaction tells you everything you need to know. I understand if it was a kid or young person who was genuinely curious but a grown ass woman? Clown world we live in lol. A traumatized them back would like to meet you. Not the asshole we are not there for people's education, entertain or inspiration. Unless we are teachers, entertainers or motivational speakers or what not, obviously. Who the hell launches into this line of questioning when they do not need to know this? Not the asshole. Good for you. Take care of your new shiny spine, and flaunt it. Don't forget to polish it daily, wouldn't want the sparkle to be covered in road dust. Not the asshole and you're hilarious. Love your shiny new spine. Not the asshole. Fuck her. She ran to and demanded to know how you fucked. She can go fuck herself. Not the asshole and people who say otherwise have never been in your shoes. Also, with these obtuse people, telling them I'm not comfortable talking about that does absolutely nothing. They continue treating you like a science specimen or a child. You were not the asshole. You are a hero. As a fellow disabled person, you are a fucking hero. I want to give you all the flowers. I want to give you a cape. I want to give you a shield and a coat of arms. Service puppy gets a cape too. Not the asshole but your friends are. I guess they aren't the type to walk next to you with a baseball bat. I'm sorry for that. You are the most awesome I have seen that was a perfect response. Not the asshole why your friends told you were ah. Uh, I don't understand. I wouldn't be so nice to her as you were, so, woman shrugging. But maybe my compass for appropriate situation to share my personal and medical info is broken, winking face. Not the asshole. Your response was perfect chef's kiss. Not the asshole if you had politely declined to answer she would have kept harping on it. This was the only way to shut her down. She clearly has some kind of issue maybe not diagnosed, but who boy she's got issues. I'm proud of you for sticking up for yourself. It's so petty, I love it. Not the asshole. Shiny spine was spot on she deserved every bit of it and more. Not the asshole. Absolutely brilliant response. Your private life should be just that private. Not the asshole. I think you handled that brilliantly. I would have been too shocked to even answer that nosy bth when she started demanding such personal information.